So I told you we got the new dog, Jamal's dog. It's a Central Asian Shepherd. It's about five months old. It's actually not a bad thing when you got a dog like Tron to motivate another dog. Stan's going to do an assessment with this uh, young pup. Funny Hello. thing is, is they just set, oh yeah, unless you think he's going, he's not going to run nowhere. I don't know. <laughs> or just hey, leave the leash on him. Yeah, leave the leash on just in case. <laughs> There's four of us out there. We'll tackle this nigga. What's up, puppies? Oh, yeah. So what do you do when a dog stand isn't super treat motivated early on? Because I was like, use some treats to get close to him. He'll listen if you give him some treats. you like, it don't work that way, people. I'm sorry. Yeah, not all the time. I mean, if ideally, yes, you want to use some treat that the dog likes. I guess he kind of likes these. Um, but time, being patient. If a dog's having this kind of energy, if you're coming and forcing yourself upon them, like it's just gonna make them retreat more. So you have to let that dog come to you. So one thing a lot of people will do will be like, oh my God, oh my God, and the dog's gonna be like, ah, I'm freaking out. But see if the dog wants to come up to you. Come here, pups. He's a good boy. And if he does, you acknowledge it. Look at his tail wagging, he's having a good time. Most people are gonna reach over a dog's head to greet him. That's not the way you do it. Think about if you met a stranger. Are you gonna go up and just hug them? No, you might shake their hand, you might give them a little dap. But if I'm coming up and I want to sh hug this dog and he doesn't know me, it's going to freak him out. Freak What's the dog's you. name? Ice. Ice. He don't know his name yet, though, just so we clear. He had no clue what his name is. You can pay. It's good. We're getting them socialized. That's Hey, look, so that's the other thing I'd say, too, is that when right. he's out in front of people, everybody get their hands on because the more stimulated he gets, yeah. the easier it be to train him to do stuff. Yeah. There's no fast track to a dog like this. You have to work on their pace because again, if you force them, if you make them have a fear about anything, if this leash you're dragging them, they're gonna start to hate it and that's a whole nother set of problems that you don't wanna have. So just take your time, that's... <laughs> so patience is key, is objectively. And very. And so what would you do? How long would it take you to get a dog like this acclimated to in the household? Generally, you give a dog about three weeks. There if you, you do something for about three weeks with the dog and if you're not getting the results that you want, then try something else. Um, from the video that I saw of you guys the other day, this already seems like a little bit more progress because of everything you guys have been doing. Yeah, and he's a little bit more. That you hadn't been forcing him, you took him out the other day and just had him out and nothing happened. And that's what these dogs need. That's what any dog needs, to be out in the world and nothing bad happens. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Experience to shape us, people. Good boys. Yes, I'll go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> John's like, I don't do it. He's like, I know what to do, buddy. Yeah, come here, pup. Yes. Um, a dog like him, I would just do a lot of that kind of stuff. When he pays attention to you, mm -hmm. mark it. Okay. Yes, good boy. If you have a clicker, you can click. Just something that lets him know that he's doing the right thing. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. And then, just play with Guys, hey, let me be very clear. I literally, I love fields like this. I've always gone out to fields like this with any of my dogs early on. I'm talking about, I'll walk out there for 30, 40 minutes or as long as the dog will to get the dog interested. <laughs> and uh, just me, he was like, hey man, how do you get that dog so tight? I made sure none of you suckers was around. <laughs> that's, that's the gist of it. And I spent a lot of time with each one of my dogs. Uh, and that normally starts for me roughly at about 12 weeks. They're with me in the room, chilling a lot of times. About 12 weeks is when I start going in. The general just turned 12 weeks, so we're about to up the ante with him. Uh, he's already super driven and focused, so I don't think it's going to take a lot, if I'm being honest. <laughs> 12, 12 to 14 weeks is a very good time to start your dog. That's when I would do like obedience sessions because they have enough mental capacity to understand. And they're still young enough that they're malleable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are the things that you've seen over the past years with the five month old dog? Uh, with this one? Oh, just or in general. I mean, five months old, somebody brings you a dog sometimes it's a year old. Mm -hmm. How discouraging or challenging is that compared to the eight, 12 week old dog? Exactly. <laughs> that, that exact phase <laughs> what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> well, we had this Cane Corso who was about seven and a half months, didn't have any socialization, um, and put him in a kennel and he wanted to eat my face off. There was another dog that we have about 14 weeks or so. She's the same. She's afraid the same way, but she's gotten a little bit more socialization. So the younger the dog is, they're going to be less defensive because once they start going through puberty, they're going to start taking situations differently. And if a dog's corsos, they even uh, Central Asian shepherds, yeah. they are dogs that are designed to defend themselves when needed. And once they get older, they may try it. And if they have a bad experience, 
it's hard to undo those things. Yeah, and let me be very clear. I would never put Jamal in a situation where there wasn't an opportunity to, to develop the dog. Put it like this. What I'm saying is, is if he was nine months older, I'd be like, no, nah, we need a younger one. Mm -hmm. I can deal with five and under because the dog's not reached sexual maturity, so it doesn't, it, it hasn't really been shaped. Yep. Once, once he gets six to nine months, that's when you really got to dial some stuff in. Otherwise, it's what we call the teenage years for a dog, and you going to hell if you ain't uh, really put. <laughs> hey, if you ain't put an yeah. emphasis on how to get that dog under control, I'm telling you right now, that five to nine month or that nine six to nine month boy, you is you just gonna be going backwards the whole time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cause they start getting more athletic, they start feeling themselves a little bit, <laughs> they start seeing, oh, I can get away with that, bet. Yeah, it's but, the worst time. It's like the terrible twos, but worse, cause it's a dog. Yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> they're an animal. They are an animal at the end of the day. There you go. There you go. There you go. So look, at any hoop, man, anything else you recommend when somebody's bringing a new dog into their home uh, that you would do? And trying to get it to just acclimate and train. For one, we heard three weeks is important. What else? Um, waiting. <laughs> just wait. Hey, there we go. Look, he well, even jumped up on me. That's what I'm talking about. All that little stuff matters. <laughs> it, does, it does, very much. <laughs> yeah. So with the older dog, you have to make sure you get their, their behaviors down before you try to correct them. You don't know why the dogs are acting the way they do. So that's a problem about getting a dog from the rescue. You don't know what that dog's been through. You don't know what they're afraid of you don't know what they like so you have to figure those things out and it just takes time so I would start with hand feeding the dog yep. spending a lot of time with them just me and the dog hanging out doing nothing and that <laughs> means I'm watching TV the dog is right there if they don't want if they're pulling and doing all this stuff put them a dog in the crate let them know that they don't have to be forced to be in these situations you got to give your dog their safe place there you go people and again i repeat i tell jamal called me the other day he said yo should i yank him on the leash or pull him on the leash i said no 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 foundation speaking is better for him to come as a blank slate and he's a pretty blank slate and he's you want to put him in situations to scratch his curiosity let me be very clear if you were bringing a five-month-old terrier into your home it would be a different process just so we're clear if a terrier come in and he don't want to listen that don't mean whoop him but you're going to have to be way more sure of yourself because that joker, he's a different dog. Central Asian Shepherds and Stan's got tough. What's that breed that you said? Akbashes. Akbashes, for instance, he's got a neighbor out there in the farm. That dude never lets the dogs in the house, I'd imagine. No. They're born outside. They stay outside. They raise with the goats outside. Mm -hmm. And they're the Central Asian Shepherd. Same thing. And when the goats have the babies, they eat the, was it afterbirth and all yeah. of that? Just so no predators will ever come. And they, those dogs literally uh, bark birds off. See, crazy see what i'm saying so so there are dogs that are still been given tasks and jobs that were bred to do something completely different this type of dog the central asian shepherd to be clear it ain't a dog that's gonna sit stay down lay that ain't what it was bred for but it'll always sit at jamal's hip especially as we get through the next year or two years per se it'll be like oh that's his guy and that's what we got it for because that's gonna be his guy but that old hey go do this go do that like them ain't them kind of dogs but we're gonna see we how far we can push it too so yep. stay tuned people take care of your dogs if you got behavior issues you got questions comment below go to iron sharp k9 on uh instagram definitely on youtube we're gonna continue to do more behavioral stuff none of our dogs have severe behavior problems i understand behavior so i just make sure nobody get put in a situation when they gotta act they colors i say <laughs> so keep taking care of those dogs people